Hi everyone, my name is Lauren Willett. I am in charge of the fall product program for council. Um, I'm also joined by Robin Boyd, the manager of product sales, who also joins me in overseeing fall product. Um, today we're gonna have an hour training and we're gonna go over all of the leader basics for the fall product program. Um, if you have any questions along the way, Robin is looking at the chat, and then when Robin presents, I'll be looking at the chat, so feel free to put any questions in there, um, or you can just wait until it end, and I'm sure we'll have time for an open discussion. There's not too many of us, so that might be better. We'll get started here with the slideshow. The first thing I like to talk about when it comes to product sales is what your girls are getting out of it. Um, I know they do a lot of fundraisers at school and they're pretty busy this time of year. Um, so that's why I think it's so important to show this slide um, to our leaders and then have you bring this back to your parents. Um, these are the skills that the girls are learning through our program, both the fall product program and the cookie sale. Um, and then we will talk about their troop proceeds in just a minute. So when we start looking at the experience itself, we like to talk a lot about what the girls are doing with their proceeds. I'm sure you know if you've had a troop before that they do amazing things with their proceeds. Um, they can fund things like travel and Girl Scout camp. They can also um, take that money and give it back to their community and help fund the entire Girl Scout experience. So let's talk a little bit about the proceeds this year. If you've participated in fall product before, you'll notice that they are the same as last year. The girls will receive 20% of the total sales they receive for each nut and chocolate item sold online and in person. And then for those extra items like the magazines, the bark box and the tumblers, they're going to get $3 per item sold. So that adds up to quite a lot of proceeds that will be in their bank account right in the beginning of the year for them. And for now, I'd like to turn it over to Robin Boyd, who's going to talk to you a little bit about what products are for sale. We do have some wonderful products um, similar to uh, previous years. We have the quality nuts and chocolates and uh, candies from Ashton Farms. We have the uh, magazines, subscriptions, whether they're renewals. We have Turvis and we have BarkBox. So let's take a little closer look, maybe Lauren, at those, um, at those products. Ashton Farms has been with us for a number of years. Uh, this year, uh, as they always do, they have a, um, a memory box or, or, or spe specific to uh, Girl Scouting. This year is the third of a series of three uh, tins that uh, focus on the years of Girl Scouting between 2004 and 2018. So what's kind of fun is to look down memory lane. It's a wonderful tin to save and keep some Girl Scout treasures in. Uh, if you've missed the previous tins from the other uh, decades, you can purchase them. They do have them online. Uh, obviously they would have fresh chocolates in them. They are filled with the mint chocolate treasures, which are individually wrapped. Additionally, one of the, um, top sellers from this past year was our holiday tin. What a great gift this always makes for the holidays that are upcoming. And we will have these products before the holiday season. The holiday tin uh, that you can purchase on our order card is filled with deluxe pecan clusters. They are yummy. If you want to purchase the tin online, it's also available there with milk chocolate pretzels. So either way, it's an absolutely perfect uh, way to say thank you to some people that you want to recognize and support the Girl Scout troop at the same time. 
some of the new products that we're offering this year. We have Thai chili mix. This was on the order card last year, but we're bringing it uh, to the front and uh, bringing it out for girl delivery as well as on the order card. It's uh, packed with savory flavors like the Thai chili almond, rice crackers, wasabi peas, sesame seed sticks. Oh, I love those. Garlic bread sticks and sriracha corn nuggets. It does have a little punch, but if you do like that savory, if you've got someone in your household that enjoys that savory treat, this is just just for them. And additionally, this year, again, we've had this uh, before online, but we are bringing it to the order card this year is the dark chocolate pre peppermint pretzels. They are a dark, a, a very smooth dark chocolate, but they are uh, sprinkled with the uh, crumbled peppermint stick uh, candies that make it a perfect holiday treat. Comes in a fun red, um, a pouch bag that is decorated just for the holidays. Now, you know, as you do know, we have 16 items on our order card to make room for these newer products. We are moving the Cheddar Caramel Crunch and the Hot Cajun to our online products. So they are still available, but they are online only. And the online only products would not be for girl delivery, but most customers are very happy when they know they can have them shipped right to their home. New online, we have a new flavor. It is vanilla flavored honey roasted pecans. These are scrumptious. They have a wonderful dusting of this vanilla flavoring on it. It does come in a six ounce pop top can. It is available online this year. Um, and I'm sure it's going to soon be a favorite because, you know, I want to start cooking with them too. When you think of the flavor of these and you start adding them to some uh, wonderful holiday recipes, I bet these are certainly going to be uh, a good treat. So make sure people know that not only for sitting in front of a good movie with a hot cup of cocoa, uh, they certainly want to buy maybe a couple extra cans for all the baking that they'll be doing for the holiday season. Also, offer the magazine option through the fall product program. Top selling magazines are offered. You can renew your subscription or you can purchase new ones. Digital um, uh, uh, titles are available as well. Some of them are also bundled so you can get it on uh, a digital and a hard copy of it. So definitely check out the options and um, have some wonderful reading material ready for those holiday vacations. We started last year, we brought Turvis products back and they've expanded the line a little bit more with some water bottles, which is exciting. The decorations on them is, um, is, is numerous. I, I couldn't even begin to tell you. They've got all the sports teams. They've got uh, something for grandma, something for dad. So uh, all of those folks who enjoy uh, a fun turbis, um, it's kind of a, a fashion accessory. <laughs> if you enjoy those turbis products, which are high end quality guaranteed, um, you'll definitely want to um, add to your collection with those. And back again this year, what a hit our Bark Box line was last year. What fun. And they're increasing the lineup. So your customers have a choice between the box that we had last year with the little beret and some yummy treats. There's another small box with a different toy in it and the sweet treats or a larger box that has a combination of a lot of different. And I think on the next um, slide, we have, yes, a little better view of what those items are. 
they're so fun. Um, those who have had bark boxes know that your um, little four-legged family member really, really cannot wait for you to get that box open because they know what's inside. Online shopping is super easy. And um, am I um, still on here? Yep, I think I was gonna do a couple more slides to, to talk about it. Once you uh, have, your Girl Scouts have sent out their link, there is two sort of doorways to get into the store. Uh, a customer can either go in through the magazine side or they can go in through the nut and chocolate side. This is going to be a great way uh, for the customers to then support the Girl Scouts. They're, the other option, once they are in, they can choose in the nut and chocolate side whether they want girl delivery or if they would like their product shipped to them. When products are shipped, they, once the uh, transaction goes through, that order gets automatically added and uh, is sent right away. So they're certainly going to be getting their products well before um, the delivery products are going to be uh, received. For girl delivery, they will pay online, but those products will come when the rest of the order card uh, arrives, which will be in November. And Laura will talk about dates in just a little bit. Once a customer does purchase something, they will get this recognition, but it also gives you an opportunity to visit some of the other areas within the shopping environment. So maybe they were purchasing magazines, but they do want to go in and get some um, nuts and chocolate, or maybe they were purchasing nuts and chocolate, and now they want to jump in and get a bark box for their little one, little fuzz. So um, this is going to be much easier for the customer to be able to truly support the troop, plus get a lot of variety in the things that they purchase. And, and speaking of the bark boxes, Robin, I did want to mention, Kelly had a great question on whether they're going to sell out this year. Um, we have been assured that there's enough, um, especially with the three different boxes, um, that we will have them for sale throughout the entire sale and that nobody will have to wait until February like they did last year to get their bark box. Yeah, um, so that's question. great news. I think the bark box may have underestimated how much we love our dogs in this group of people. <laughs> so that's great. <laughs> One other thing that I did forget to mention about BarkBox, uh, the first box will be a $5 shipping cost. The second and subsequent boxes that you purchase to the same address will be $10. So the shipping maxes out at $10. That is if it's all going to the same address. So whether you purchased uh, two, three, four, and it's all coming to the one address, it will only be $10 shipping. So that's pretty cool. And then one other slide after we were talking about the um, shopping experience, shoppers also can purchase uh, Prod, uh, the nut and candy products to be donated to our military. Our U.S. military will receive nuts and chocolates from um, our council to operate through Operation Gratitude. Operation Gratitude is a wonderful national company. They uh, do a lot of care packages every year, multiple times a year too. Um, the organization is huge and they reach so many military uh, and service people throughout um, the, wherever they're stationed throughout the world. So know that you are um, donating to a wonderful organization. You are supporting our military and your Girl Scouts are also getting a um, getting the same reward uh, options by these these sales too. There are many times that people just don't want the chocolate or they don't want a magazine, but they certainly want to uh, support the troop. So this is a wonderful way for them to um, still be supporting their Girl Scout friends. So Lauren, let's talk a little bit about the online experience. 
Okay, so um, when we talk about the online experience, um, we are referring to M2. M2 is our magazine vendor. They're also who develop the software that we use to reference the program and keep track of the sales. Um, so when your Girl Scouts log in, this is the screen that they're going to see. It's really easy to set up the account. Um, they'll receive an email from you, but they can also go directly to the site. When they get to this website, they're going to put in their email address. They're then going to confirm that they have a membership with our council, which the program does all of that for them. Um, they'll then be instructed to um, put their goals in. So these are the goals that the troop has and might be the goals that the girl has set on her own. Um, next, she's going to build her cute little avatar that you see here on the screen. And she can also include a video for her customers that her customers can watch and learn all about what her goals are for the season. She has a ton of awesome tools to run her business once she is done setting up her avatar. She can log in and insert her parents, friends, emails in here. Um, you can actually upload an email address book to send to all of your friends and family. She can also take her storefront and share it on social media with the help of her parents. And she can then take that um, storefront and text it out to friends and family. Um, the really cool thing they added in um, are QR codes. So she has these cute little business cards that will have the QR code right on it so that her customer can just scan that and go right to her storefront. She can also print out these door hangers to leave. If she goes door to door and missed a neighbor that wasn't home, she can leave the door hanger right on the door. It has the QR code to her storefront and that neighbor can just go right in and purchase. This is a bigger version of what the business card looks like. Um, if you don't wanna print out a ton of these, I suggest just printing one and carrying it around with your girl. Um, the customer doesn't really need to keep the business card. She can just hand it to the customer to scan the code, and then the storefront will pop right up on the customer's phone. Um, so we think that's a really cool feature that M2 added in this year. We got requests for this feature a lot from the kids. They're really polite, which is awesome, and they want to thank their customers right away. Um, I believe in the past, M2 would send out a thank you email after the sale was done. But these kids are saying, hey, I want to thank my auntie or my uncle now for their purchase. So they can go into M2 and queue up this email if they click on support or thank you. It does pre-populate a message in the email field, but she can change that depending on what she wants to say to each customer, make it a little more personal and a little more fun. And then once she hits activate email, it will send right out to that customer. So she can begin sending those thank yous to her customers right away. Okay, let's talk about what the kids can earn because we know they love those rewards. Um, I'm always a fan of this personalized patch. We offer this every year in the program. Um, it comes with the girls avatar that they built on in M2. And then um, the way they earn this patch is if they reach $375 in total sales and send out 15 of those emails we were talking about earlier, they'll receive this patch. It goes directly to her house. So you as a leader don't need to worry about keeping track or giving these out. Um, you just want to make sure that if she hits that goal, she's putting her address into M2 so that she receives it. And then you get to build your avatar and you can earn this patch too. I have a few of them at my desk that I've earned. They're pretty cool to get. Um, if your troop gets $2,000 in total sales and you send out that parent email in the beginning of the sale, you can earn the patch too, which is really fun. And these are the rewards on the order card. Um, they are cumulative, so she can earn all of these rewards if she hits each reward level. Um, what I suggest doing with your girls is when you give them the order card, have them sit down and look at their rewards. 
they can then go into M2 and select which rewards they want to work towards earning so that they see that goal every time they log into M2, which is really fun. And we do have these on display at our office if you're close to our Bedford office and want to check them out. And we'll have them at the expo too. Right. The elephant's really cute. Okay, so let's talk about your so volunteer experience. On the purpose, products, and participant experience associated with oh, is there something playing on this? No, we will. How about we're going to get rid of that slide because I do think a video is playing on that that I didn't know about. Yeah, um, <laughs> so, what you're going to see when you log into M2 as the leader um, is first you're going to get an email. You're going to receive that email on the 22nd, which is in a couple of weeks. It's going to invite you into M2. You're going to watch a training video, and then you're going to queue up your parent email to go out to your parents and also build that avatar that's going to be on the patch that you earn. When we talk about the parent email, this is what it looks like. Um, it's Pre, all the email addresses are pre-populated for you in M2. So you don't need to worry about knowing those ahead of time. Um, when you log in, just make sure every girl's parent is there and that their email is correct. Um, you can edit anything that's not correct. And then um, you, when you queue up this email, it will go out to your parents on October 1st. So you can do this the 22nd if you want and just know that it's ready to go. Um, it will go out on October 1st for you, so you won't need to do anything that day. This is what your troop dashboard looks like. Um, as you can see, it looks pretty similar to the girl dashboard. You have a ton of extra things that you can do in here. Um, you can message all of your girls. You can um, manage their nut order card, which I'll go over in a minute. You can select their rewards for them. The sales report is um, really nice to look at, especially if you want to know how much you owe council or what your sweep looks like. And then you can also view banking and payments um, where you can see how much you owe council there as well. Okay, so let's talk about entering those paper orders. Keep in mind that you're only going to or uh, enter orders that the girls took in person. You don't want to enter in any orders that they have online. Those are already going to be in there for you. You can start doing this on October 11th, and parents can enter their orders anytime. So I always suggest to have those parents enter the orders, and then when you go in on the 11th, you're just double checking throughout the sale to make sure that everything's right. The orders have to be in by October 28th. And then when you're all set doing all of that, just keep in mind there's no submit button like there is with cookies. Once everything's in and looks correct, you're done and you can just log out. So these are the important dates that you want to keep in mind. Like I said, the program begins on October 1st. The last day for your parents to enter orders is October 27th. So you want to make sure that you're sending out reminders about the sale before then. I would suggest a couple of days, give them time to enter in their orders. That way on the 28th, when it's your last day, you're just double checking everything. Your um, CPSC, which some of you don't have CPSCs, we'll address that in just a second, has until October 29th. And then you're going to receive um, the orders on November 15th through 16th. So just keep in mind that sometime that weekend, you'll be instructed on how to collect all of your orders. This is a screenshot of what the um, sales reports look like. I love the way this is laid out, especially if you want to know just real quick what you owe counsel. Um, that's covered here. It also shows you how much you sold in all the different categories. And this is located under the summary report. So keep that in mind, especially at the end of the program, 
you'll have more questions that are related to your finances. This is where you'll find all that information. Okay, so this is thinking ahead, but we do want to discuss it now. Um, in November on the 16th and 17th, you will get that delivery of all of the girl delivered products and also um, the products that were on the order card. So that's gonna come right to your community. Sometimes it gets shipped to someone's home. Sometimes we set it up in like a church parking lot or a school and have everybody come to collectively pick up. When you get those products, you wanna count everything first, make sure everything's there and then sign the delivery ticket. The products are chocolate, so obviously you wanna keep it cool and dry. Usually not a problem in November, but it can be sometimes if there's a hot car. Um, and then communicate with your families about where they can get their orders from you. So each Girl Scout family will have a delivery ticket so that you know what to give them and they know what to give their customers. And then um, you wanna make sure that they sign for all of that product that you're giving them. You all have my email, so let me know if you have anything that pops up later. <laughs> Thank you.